Hello, this is Victor at RestoringMercedes.com. This video is for Jeff in North Carolina. So, this is S3, um, SL320 throttle body here that had been worked on, but it does not work correctly. And I do confirm, I want to make this video to confirm that I do see the problem that it came here with. It is very similar to the repair that I do. It's very similar loom and the glue and everything. The wires look good but it still hasn't been repaired correctly so <clears throat> first thing is inside here we do see that the wires are in good condition because these are replacement wires silicone and the soldering is nice but uh, something is still screwed up in the potentiometer case so that's what i'm going to check next i'm gonna have to take it all apart and um really look into it dig into it deep now the connectors seem to be okay but i still want to open it up and see how it was soldered internally because it might not be soldered correctly or there's a short in there somewhere but um just wanted to confirm the problem so this is the purpose of this video this is the first video and i'm going to combine it with the video after so what we're going to do here is because the throttle body is going to jump in open position i'm going to put it down like such make sure that the plate is not gonna touch let's see uh, what we're gonna put down under let's put in some tape over here make it sit on the tape here something like this now if I can open fully yes okay so now the throttle body is closed and it is connected to the e-gas module on my bench follow all these wires here we go down as you can see to the bottom module down under there so this module is e-gas so that's the proper module for the asr model, uh, asr throttle body and the test itself here is the power switch and we're going to put the lever all the way down to idle position and we're going to put on the power so this is what happens shuts right down if i shut it down bring the lever back to idle put on the power same exact thing so <clears throat> it's definitely a problem here so i'm gonna have to really it's very delicate area though you're gonna do some like one wrong move you're gonna destroy the potentiometer throttle body becomes it, well it's it can be repaired but it's just way too expensive to repair that so right now it's a good base i can work with this so that's gonna work i'll fix it all right so this is basically the first video before this is what it does and of course we have asr light on the dash and limp mode and <clears throat> all these problems and next video is coming up probably tomorrow i'll get to the work on this as i have another one to do right now so this is victor at historymercedes.com part two is coming up thanks for watching hello this is victor at historymercedes.com this video is for jeff in north carolina Okay, Jeff, so this is the potentiometer. We finally got it out. So I cleaned up this part. A couple of wires were crossed. So that I did. I checked the connector. See, it's gluing still. Put a little sleeve over here because it was silicone. It was not strong enough. And the potentiometer doesn't look to be super terrible. A little bit of contamination, but um, it's okay, actually. The wear is not super severe. If you look at the sliders, they're pretty nice. So that's good. And the case is not broken. Now, this is one potentiometer. Here's the second one. If you look, sliders look okay. Just have to be cleaned off oil and uh, what else the 
contact sliders they're a little worn but they move the most so they do wear out more come on as you can see but they will work I'll bend them out a little bit so they make better contact they, they will work fine so I'm going to clean this up connector is done the wires are done and um, then I'll make a last video how this unit actually works on the bench all right, Victor here at TheStoryMercedes.com. This video is for Jeff in North Carolina. Hello, this is Victor at TheStoryMercedes.com. This video is for Jeff in North Carolina. Okay, Jeff, so this is your unit. And um, there is some etching on the metal, but other than that, it's actually pretty good. I cleaned it up a little bit, but... Um, it's just the most important part of it is the of course operation and the actual opening okay so what we have here is we have cleaned up opening the butterfly and the unit is basically ready to go I'm gonna have to just have it uh, bench tested overnight I rechecked all the wires I cut the connector I checked the soldering points I replaced three wires I rearranged them to the right configuration. I opened the potentiometer, uh, make sure there's uh, oil contamination, clean that off. Uh, what else? And uh, cleaned up all the areas in there, uh, oiled up the gear shafts and all that stuff. So, anyway, unit works great, and I don't have any doubts in it anymore. So, right now, it is off, as you can see. It does not energize, I mean, it does not open because the unit is physically off, there is no power going to it, and it is connected to my bench test rig, see all these wires over here, I mean, they go to all the computers over there, so we're going to put the power on, it's top right on the camera here, so I put the power on, unit energizes, and now we do have proper operation as you can see it open it opens and closes perfectly fine stays at the look in the position where lever is at so this is this is good this is very good and um, it is working now properly because if there would be anything wrong with it right now it would go into limp mode and that would be the end of it i would not be able to open and close it as i'm doing right now so this is basically the last video i'm making before mailing this unit back to you and final video basically i'm going to leave it over on the bench test for about maybe say i'm gonna leave it starting now it's about 10 20 p.m I'll wake up about 8 o'clock tomorrow, so we're looking at about 10 hours, a little less than 10 hours, 9, nine and a half of nine and a half hours on the bench. So it's going to get really hot. That's going to check the clutch coil, just to make sure clutch coil does not shut down when it gets hot. That's very important as well. And um, that's what I'm going to do. So, so far so good, and it does work well and i don't really see any problems with it anymore so finally it is repaired and ready to go back to you tomorrow if everything works out fine with the bench test if it works fine no twitching no movement of the throttle plate because sometimes if potentiometer goes which in your case it didn't seem to be damaged in any event in any means i mean it's fine um so and i also opened it up to clean all the oil off it so now, I mean, to be honest, I would be very confident mailing it out, but I do test them overnight just to make sure, okay? I've sent units to other countries, and um, right now, the way it sits, I would be very confident to mail it back to anywhere in the world. But again, you know, I do want to make sure it works fine when it hits up, so therefore, it's going to sit on the bench. Okay, so this was a video for James. I'm sorry, James. Jeff in North Carolina. And this is Victor at RestoryMercedes.com. 
Thank you for watching.